All right, everybody, so welcome back. This is what the final product is, what it looks like. I showed you guys a little bit in the last one, but um, as you can tell, it's really sticky. It's really bad. You can really see it kind of almost everywhere. We put a little bit of alcohol on it um, just to get a little bit of it out, but of course, it's going to be really bad. So we actually have a little problem here that we wanted to dip it this way, but if you check it over here, it looks like that the track pad is going to get in the way. Of course, the little palm rest here, there's a big metal piece. You can see it's, it's too big to really thoroughly get all this keyboard in the whole way. So we're actually going to go dip it the whole way in this time, and we're going to be doing it one on each side, so one minute on each side here. Um, we're doing it a lot less than normal temperature. Normally for boards, you do it around 60, 65. We're going to be hitting it a little bit lower than that. It's going to be about 45, 40 to 45 around there for the temperature because um, we are we're a little bit concerned about the plastic here. And of course, it's not quite like a board, how it can take all that heat. Um, but we definitely want to make sure that we get all this underneath here and all under the keyboard. And of course, we're not even sure if this is going to work. So we really hope for the best. And I do know we have the connections here for the touch bar, but there's not a whole lot we can do about that without damaging the touch bar. So we're really just gonna go see if it even works. Right, so we're only gonna do one minute, about 45 degrees Celsius for each side. So I'm just gonna go in like this. So we're gonna put this in. We're gonna dunk it this direction. And it's just gonna sit like that. And since it's in there, we're just gonna hit the button now and it'll start. You can hear it working. Um, so we'll give it about a minute and then we'll come back to it. All right, so it's been one minute. Now we're just gonna flip it over on this side. And you can see we just barely make it for the keyboard here. So it goes right across perfectly. We're gonna do another minute on this side and then we're gonna go see if we still need to do it after this. We're gonna go take a look at it real quick. All right, so we're actually gonna also put in the trackpad because there's a little bit more space in there. You can tell how bad the trackpad was before. You can even see how gunky it is right now. It should be in to totally submerged, should be totally fine. We're going to put this in and then do another minute on this side. We actually kind of really want to submerge this a bit more. So it leans against it. Then we're going to hit another minute. All right, so we're going to flip it. We did it one side. We're just going to flip it to the other side. It's pretty cool. All right, and we're just going to keep doing this one. It does need it a bit more. Now, it doesn't seem like a minute is good enough. We already did four minutes on this one. We did one minute on this one. So we're just going to flip it, go each side. So we're going to take out this one. This one's been ready. We won't do it too much. Let's let it drip a little bit. Okay. Shake it a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now right, we're going to put it in here. Okay. So we took it out now. Looks pretty good. Um, we actually feel the keys here a little bit. They're actually a lot more responsive. They're not so sticky. Actually, the, the, where the damage is right here, you can kind of hear that it does feel really good. So now what we want to do is, of course, because this is water mixed with a solution, we definitely want to make sure you get 99% or 100% alcohol. And what alcohol is going to do is going to push out all the water that's in contact with it. All right, now that we pretty much soaked the whole thing in alcohol, all the water should be pushing out, which is great. Um, now what you want to do, of course, before you totally finish up, you don't want to put it back like this. You want to make sure it's completely dry. And I would say definitely leave it uh, with maybe a fan on it for a very long time. Just to make sure everything's completely dried up. I mean, you don't see any type of wetness or anything because you don't want to put that back with any type of residue or any water or any alcohol left with it. All right, so we'll get back to that and then we'll get to the trackpad. Hey guys, so it looks like that this is all good to go. It's all dried up. So you can hear it. It does a very good sound. It wasn't really sucked before. All the keys feel, feel very good. It looks like it's a pretty much a success so far. Like I'm pretty hopeful about it. I think it's going to work actually pretty well. Um, you can kind of see all the liquid, pretty much the stuff's gone. There's a little bit of residue left. I mean, we can clean that up, but it's not going to affect anything. We're mainly worried about here. 
Of course, you can see all the liquid that's, that was there from before, but we can clean it up. That's not too much of a worry. The travel distance for all the keys are actually excellent. They're very, very good. So we're very, very hopeful for this one. Now I have to put all this back and you can see so the first thing I want to do, I just want to put, I can put the trackpad in. We still need to work on the cable a little bit individually because it still does have a little bit of damage, but we're working on that. So we're going to put that in pretty much the last one that's already, and that doesn't matter because that's one of the biggest parts that we need to make sure that works because it didn't work at all totally. So we're going to clean that cable a little bit more because the cable has some damage. But if you can check this out, actually this looks great. We're going to hope to see how everything works now once we put it all back together. <laughs> so let's see. It's a lot of stuff to put back together. So it's going to take a little bit of time, but it won't be for you guys. So stay tuned and let's see if it does work out. So as you can see here, the trackpad cable was completely damaged. And not only that, we actually had to fix the trace of the trackpad cable. Now for this, the trackpad cables aren't interchangeable from any of the other years. So it makes it very, very difficult to find a replacement. Oh, you have to get the exact one of the 2019 MacBook Pro. But unfortunately, we weren't able to find that cable. So we had to apply this fix and see if it worked out. Right, so we put it in. Now it's just connected here. And let's connect the battery. fan comes on apple logo looks good one good thing is i can feel the force if you could see in my camera I can. all right and as you can see we're actually using the the, the trackpad for it does look really good all right so it turns on that looks great uh, and look the trackpad works so this looks good move all the way around i get the f little force touch Looks great. Feels pretty good too. I wish there's like a low setting on it. Let's see. The keyboard works. That's a great sign. So everything does work very well. This looks fantastic. Looks great. Of course, now we need to just glue on the battery. Looks like that, it was a success. It looks like even the ultrasonic. It looks like even the ultrasonic did a really good job with this. We weren't really too sure what was going to happen actually with this because we never tried this before. We usually just use the ultrasonic just for the boards and we don't use it really for many uh, any other things. It usually does a great job with liquid damage of the boards. Now I, I would say that even for this type of repair, um, there's always a chance that that's not going to work. So we had actually a machine that turns on and that's one of the scariest things, especially when you put it through an ultrasonic or any other type of repairs, is that it's already turning on and you don't really want to try to mess at least that piece up. Um, but however, this did work out very well. We were able to use ultrasonic to clean the keyboard, to clean the trackpad. And we're actually pretty shocked that this worked because I wasn't too sure if this was going to work. Um, the final touch that we really had to do was the cable on the trackpad because that was totally damaged. It was beyond 
the point where you know just not going to clean it. It was actually had a little bit of a burn mark there. We did replace one of the traces on it, so it did work very well, and we're actually very lucky it did, uh, because if we would have messed that up at any point, we would have to get another track pad cable. But then again, if you realize the whole point of doing this repair is none of these parts are available at this time making the video. So if we mess up on these parts, even if we get a replacement, then we're not too sure if it's gonna work because they have a T2, the T2 chip and it wouldn't allow us really to, to boot. Maybe we might get stuck somewhere or won't like the keyboard, maybe won't turn on. There's lots of ifs, especially on doing these type of repairs. Um, we do specialize in more component level and these type of repairs for liquid spills, liquid damages. Um, the best thing to do really is to fix what you can fix. So we're really glad it's actually worked out. I'm, I'm actually pretty much in shock that actually all this worked because we took it all apart, we put it all back together. We showed you how to pretty much remove the home button, the battery, the trackpad, the keyboard, the logic board, and we got we got down to bare bones almost. So it's pretty, almost as far as you can go. Um, we're gonna, of course, test this a little bit more and make sure it was all good before we give it to the customer, but everything does look pretty good. So it looks pretty great, and um, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. It was very informative for, for even us at this point, so I enjoyed really making this. Um, it's really interesting to see if this would even work in the long run. And unfortunately, it did work, um, not just for us, but for the client as well. Everyone's going to be happy. Um, we will love to try this again in the future. You know, I, I don't wish this upon anyone, but, you know, if, if we can fix it, we, we really like to try the best. We like to try out different things to see what we can do. Um, all this Apple stuff about not being able to get parts and do replacement parts has actually made us kind of grow more of like a creative side on doing things and seeing what we can do, how we can better repairs on their products. and themselves so anyways guys um, if you enjoyed this video please leave a like it really does help please comment down below if you thought this was really cool and um, i hope you enjoy it bye